How did I make my first million dollars? It wasn't the million dollars. It was the $8 an hour job at the sports shop. Yes, at a sports shop, I earned $8 an hour helping people with their feet. And what I did is I helped them buy the right shoe that was right for them and made them happy, made their feet happy. That's where I learned how to really help people. So it's about them first. And that is where I cut my teeth. I busted my chops to learn how to be successful in helping people. And that was my road to the million dollars a year. So it starts at an $8 an hour job. What are you doing right now that's eight or ten dollars an hour it might be twenty five dollars an hour today but if you learn how to serve people and really give them what they need and want you're on your way to making one million dollars a year So as I mentioned, in the shoe department, I started at $8 an hour. And then the people that I worked for saw something much bigger in me than just helping people in the shoe department. They let me manage the store. So they saw something in me that was beyond just helping people in the shoe department. I then became a leader in the entire store. And the customers coming in saw me as the leader that they said, hey, this guy can help us, he'll serve us, he'll solve our problems in whatever department. See, there's a journey to becoming a millionaire Millionaire. There's a journey to becoming a leader. Are you willing to do what it takes to become a leader? That's where I really learned how to be a millionaire in my mind. And that gave me the resources, the fortitude, and of course that gave me the courage to go and become a millionaire. Change is one of the most challenging things I think many of us face, but I learned early on that change was important. It was almost easy for me because I had changed in so many different ways. So back when I was 16 years old, I moved away from home. At 16, went 500 miles away from my parents, my home, everything that I knew to go to a different school, a private school in a small town way out in the sticks. That taught me that change is okay and I got comfortable with it. Yes, I was scared. Yes, I didn't know anybody. Yes, I was like, how is this gonna work out? But I learned early on that change is the agent that allowed me to grow. Because if I wouldn't have done that at 16 and I would have waited till let's say 18, 20, all those years that I would have prolonged that change agent, I probably would have struggled with change more. So today, change is easy for me. I look at it, I evaluate it, I see the consequences of it, the potential of it, I evaluate that and then I go, okay, I'm gonna embrace this and I go. And you never know what's gonna happen. Sometimes great things happen. Sometimes it's the wrong decision, but you're moving forward. Every time you make a change, you're actually moving forward. You're not standing still, because if you're standing still, you're really going backwards. So I'm gonna encourage you, think of moments in your life where you made changes. And I'm gonna encourage you to actually think of those moments when you're younger, because change is so much easier when you're young. That's why I say, at 16, I became a change agent in my own life and change never became a challenge for me after that become a change agent today have you ever been scared Yes, absolutely terrified, frightened. What am I doing? Fear washed all over your face. That was me back in 1992 when I moved from being a manager of a store where, yes, let's face it, 14 bucks an hour was just gonna get us by. I was just above broke. And then I shifted to being, well, an agent, self-employed. Oh my goodness, fear everywhere. But that's what drove me to success. That's what drove me to find how I could make a million dollars because it's in in those moments when you really find out who you are. See, if I didn't provide for my family in that moment, in that time, we were gonna lose everything. And so we need to put ourselves in those situations that just absolutely take us right to the edge. We're right on the edge of the cliff. Do we jump? Do we not jump? And I jumped. I jumped all into real estate. I poured everything in my will, and my desire to succeed from pulling massive hours. You're just gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to pull massive, massive hours hours. You're going to have to go extra deep on everything. You're going to have to sacrifice things that you've never sacrificed before. And those sacrifices might be family in that moment. It might be that evening out. It might be something that you've just desired to do over and over again and you're gonna have to give that up. Let me tell you about this. The fear of failure is powerful. I know some people don't want to go there, but I'm telling you the fear of failure drove me. It drove me to succeed. It drove me to help my family. 
It drove me to find how I could be successful at real estate, which of course then, of course, it drove me to find that million dollars. Fear of failure is powerful, and it can be your friend, your foe, your motivator. And for me, it started out as my motivator, but then it became my friend. Understand fear can be your motivator and your friend. Find fear and make fear your friend and your motivator. So now you're having success. You've gotten past that. And you now need to be comfortable in success. Now you might say, well, of course I'd be comfortable in success. What is comfort in success? No, it's not about buying expensive things. It's not about like spending it on holidays and all those things. It's about having success, but controlling yourself, controlling your emotions, your spending habits, your schedule. See, all of these start with an S. Success, spending, schedule, they're all important pieces to controlling your success and so often I've seen that agents have success they start spending their money way too frivolously they start spending money on things that really are not going to drive their business help them become successful and save their first million dollars so you could make a million bucks but you got to save a million bucks it's the net that is the important thing so get comfortable with knowing your expenses where you should be spending your money what is the wise marketing piece not the unwise marketing piece that you spend money on. Where do you spend your efforts and how do you preserve that money that was so hard to make? That's the next step in making that million dollars. Being successful is knowing how to hold that success and not overspending.